Okay, New Japan, New Beginning here. I'm going to be lumpy in all the New Beginnings, so you know how they do the Road to New Beginning, this New Beginning, that. I kind of just group it all together and just talk about the matches that I want to talk about. So that's what we're doing here. And we're starting it off with uh, Tai Chi versus Will Ospreay in Tai Chi's hometown. So he was the baby face here. Uh, starting it off with a Yakuza kick right off the bat. Tai Chi is uh, sticking to the kicks. Hook kick by Tai Chi. Usually, the Will Ospreay does that. Snake Eyes, big boot by Will Ospreay. Tai Chi with the big clothes on after getting his ass whooped for like 10 minutes in front of the home crowd. Nice Saito suplex by Tai Chi. He's getting the hold spot. They're both uh, hitting Kawada kicks to each other. Uh, Ospreay telling Tai Chi to kick him. Basically, he wants his best shot because Tai Chi's a really good kicker. Uh, he's trying to tank them while laughing. Then Tai Chi is telling Will to chop him. So he wants him to kick him. He wants him to chop him. They're killing each other. Freaking buzz off kick to freaking Will. Jesus Christ. He kicked his head off. Hook kick by Will Ospreay. And then a tiger driver by Ospreay for a near fall. Hits the ox cutter for another near fall. Taichi hits a crazy inverted tombstone. Hits a clothesline to the back of the head. A Saito with the bridge. And gets the biggest near fall. That crowd popped. So fucking hard. Did I have, did I say how nice it is to have the crowd cheering back? Hidden Blade, Deadlift German by Osprey, and then a crazy running Hidden Blade, rolling elbow to the back of the head. Tai Chi is dead. The ref is trying to call the KO, but uh, Osprey is not letting him. Hidden Blade, Stormbreaker, done. Very fun match. It's really cool to see Tai Chi as a baby face here. Something you'll never ever see, but that was good. Uh, Shuta Unimo versus Naito here. I love, I love Unimo, man. Sh a shooter is awesome. And Naito is just the best. Uh, Naito playing with Shooter, whooping him around all the ring in the outside. Naito is wearing him down with submission. Red Shoes is also the ref for this. He's, they've been doing this a lot to build story between this. How they always make him the ref for this stuff. Nice fisherman suplex by Shooter. Right into the SDF transition. Shooter dives on Naito and then a nice top rope drop kick when they get him right after. Shooter is back to the SDF. Almost makes Naito tap, but Naito reaches a rope, but he won't let go. Uh, Naito hits a satellite DDT for a near fall. And then Naito with a modified Koji clutch to return to the, the favor. Uh, Shooter hits a crossroads. Another crossroads and then transition to a saving grace. I love that combo. Uh, Naito hits Gloria for a near fall, and then Naito with a nasty spine buster. Uh, Bastard Driver by Shooter. Uh, Lord freaking hits the Crunchy by Shooter. Naito kicks out again. Uh, freaking uh, Shooter hit the, with, the, with the Magilla Cutter. I always love that. Uh, then a Scoop Slam Brain Buster by Naito. That was sick. Freaking um, Northern Grit right there. Uh, a bunch of repeat elbow shots. Naito hits over 15 elbow. The shooter wants more. He wants more. Getting that fighting spirit. Naito is begging for the match to be stopped. But basically, shooter is telling his dad, no fucking way. Shooter with a death rider out of nowhere. Rampage DDT by shooter. But Naito kicks out. Destino and shooter kicks out. One more and it is done. Naito gets the big win. Tell you, man, Shooter is going to be the next Okada. If they if they do this right, this guy is even better than Okada was at his age. Like that's crazy. Like Okada got good at like twenty something, and Shooter's already fucking there. Like it's gonna be some crazy stuff. Uh, Hiromu Takahashi versus Yo for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. This was a fun match here. Uh, Yo with the advantage early on. Suplex on the floor by Hiromu. Uh, Yo keeps trying to match strikes with Hiromu, but that is not working out. Yo is not a striker. Uh, amazing dropkick by Yo. Pop-up powerbomb by Hiromu. And the Knights Falcon Arrow by Yo for a near fall. Uh, Yo is trying to get the tap out on the knee. On the knee bar, he keeps going back to the knee bar. Uh, freaking keeps going back into it. A couple of inverted dragon screws in a figure four by Yo. He is really looking for that leg tap out. Big clothesline by Yo gets another near fall. Uh, this is definitely Yo's best match to date. His best singles match. This match and the match with Tanahashi, I would say. Uh, Yo with a saving grace on his knee. And then they... Stunner into a crazy pile driver by Hiromu. Couple of super kicks. Pomping Bomber. 
Time Bomb, and then Time Bomb 2 for the win. A great match. Yo's the best performance to this day. Uh, we get Zack Sabre Jr. versus Ishii for the New Japan TV title. I love, 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 love Zack and this title and the 15-minute time limits. Love it. Uh, Zack is getting destroyed by Ishii strikes. That is something Zack cannot measure up to. Uh, Ishii is blocking a lot of Zack's submissions, which is very surprising, Zack. Saito suplex by Ishii gets a near fall. Zack is trying to kill Ishii's arms. This is cool-ass arm bar. Uh, Ishii is getting pissed, so it's going to Zack's arms. Uh, we get a PK by Zack. Ishii with a big-ass shoulder block. Ishii's mouth is busted open. Powerbomb by Ishii for a near fall. Ishii with a freaking code red. What the hell? Or as Michael Cole calls that, every move. The crowd is going freaking nuts here. Big clothesline by Zack. Another one. He's fucking dead. Fucking, uh, well, uh, Zach gets hit with a clothesline, and then he gets hit with another one. PK by, uh, nasty running PK by Zach. Zach, driver, done. Fantastic match. I feel like these guys have great chemistry. Uh, Master Wado versus Ishimori, and pretty much you know how this goes. A hundred miles per hour. Uh, Wado with a nice bulldog, lawn dart into the ring post by Ishimori. Then that mad makes him take control. Wado with a big dive on the outside. Springboard uppercut by Wado. Uh, we get a zigzag by Wado for a near fall. Ishimori with a handspring and Ziguri. Hits a sliding German in the corner. That's his move right there. Uh, Hammerlock shoulder breaker by Ishimori. Never seen that before. That was really cool. LaBelle lock by Ishimori. Uh, crazy German by Wado. Wado has this German that he debuted at Wrestle Kingdom this year. Where he gives you a German and he legit throws you 10 feet into the air. Neck first. It's fucking insane looking. V trigger by Ishimori and then a big clothesline. One bloody cross and it is done. The bloody cross is a really protected move. Not a lot of people forgot about that. That was really fun. Uh, we get a good match here. These guys always bring the chemistry. Kenta versus Tanahashi. Uh, Kenta is in control early on. Strong kicks by Kenta. Second rope Santan by Tanahashi. Kenta keeps trying to get the use the ref. Uh, then uh, he hits a nice DDT for a near fall Raven style. We get a ref bump. Kenta gets a chair. Tana uses the chair instead. But Kenta uses it right after. Freaking, um, uh, freaking, uh, Kenta had uses the draping DDT. And then Kenta with a top rope double stump for a near fall. Tanahashi with a twist to shout. Uh, freaking after that, Kenta takes advantage with the flying Bukaki knee. Then another one, Batana kicks out. Uh, Kenta does his, uh, my favorite thing, the freaking haymaker slaps. Uh, Tanahashi drops down to the knee, uh, goes for the GTS, but somehow Tanahashi counters the GTS into a sling blade. Another sling blade. Ace is high, crossbody, high fly flow. We are done. A great match here. Guys, Always have fun chemistry. Uh, this is a sad match right here. Jay White versus Hikileo. Loser leaves New Japan match. Uh, Jay is trying to run away here. Jay is getting killed on the outside. Uh, uses Gator to take back control. We get a running power slam by Hikileo. Uh, Jay with a big chop block takes back control. Flatliner deadlift German suplex combo by Jay. Then a Saito suplex by Jay. Blade Buster by Jay, and Hikaleo is not staying down. Uh, Jay with a stunner to both of Hikaleo's knees and legs. Bunch of chair shots by Jay. Kiwi Crusher right after that. Actually got Hikaleo up. That was impressive. Uh, Jay takes Hikaleo's jacket off and starts chopping him to death. Uh, Hikaleo is getting all his chops back on Jay White. Fucking Jay is basically yelling, telling him, come on, you motherfucker. Then he spits on him. Uh, Hikaleo then chops him 15 times. Snap power slam by Hikaleo. Rough bump. Jay hits a low blow. Takes back advantage. Blade runner by Jay, but couldn't get the pin fast enough. Last ride power bomb by Hikaleo, but Jay kicks out. So he Hikaleo is about to end it. This is a great fucking match, by the way. This is Hikaleo's best performance. Uh, we get a choke slam, and Jay is about to give him. The two sweet. Hikaleo gives them the two sweet. Big seven foot choke slam. The biggest win of Jay uh, Hikaleo's career. 
in a sad way for Jay White's New Japan career to end. I don't know where he's signing. I don't know what he's doing. It has been a pleasure to have Jay White in New Japan. Fucking Triple Crown winner. He's won everything in the damn company. Main event at Wrestle Kingdom. And he, the dude's not even 30 yet. He's like 27. Like, what the fuck? Jay White has the whole future ahead of him. Like, amazing heel work. Even a great babyface. In Ring of Honor, he was a fun babyface. But, yeah, I thought this match was awesome. Even the match of Eddie Kingston, his last match in New Japan, New Japan. It was really good. Okada versus Shingo Takagi for the IWGP World Title. This was the last match of the new beginning, and man, what a fucking match. Okada, with a lot of chain wrestling, wants to keep Shingo's speed and power down. Because Okada even said he can't match any of that that Shingo brings to the table. Uh, Okada with his dropkick on the top rope. Okada is wearing down Shingo's neck. Okada is tanking Shingo's best shots here. Money Clip is locked in. Shingo with his three-part combo with the clothesline. Faint jab into a DDT by Shingo. Hits my favorite move. One of my favorite moves. The pop-up Death Valley Dragger on the outside. Okada, you can just hear all the air leave his body. Sliding Lariat by Shingo gets a near fall. Air Raid Neck Breaker by Okada. Okada with the Tombstone on the outside. And then a big, big drop kick. But Shingo drops him with another Rainmaker. Uh, fucking Shingo is kicking Okada when he's down. Okada gets up with no emotion. Start trading big strikes. Shingo beats the shit out of him. Hits a knee drop to the back of his head. Uh, GTR by Shingo, and made in Japan right after that, uh, Shingo then takes his hand and then hits a freaking Rainmaker of his own, uh, then hits the freaking, uh, Tanahashi driver, the freaking, uh, uh, Okada hits the big elbow drop, but then, uh, Shingo gets out the way, hits the Pomping Bomber, Rainmaker by Okada, but he ends up passing out right after that. We get a crazy exchange here. Okada hits a spinning Mitsunoku driver. Shingi hits the la- Shingi. Shingo hits the last of the dragon. Okada kicks out. I think Okada is the only person I've seen kick out of the last of the dragon. Uh, Okada hits three stiff ass clotheslines. Nasty dragon suplex by Shingo. Then a spinning clothesline by Shingo. The crowd is going fucking crazy. Okada hits his own pomping bomber. Spinning Emerald's Fusion and then a Rainmaker and it is done. What can you say? Both of these guys are some of the best professional wrestlers of all time. So, of course. But that is all my favorite matches from the new beginning. I know it was a lot to go there, but it was a lot of good stuff and it was very worth it.